sweet, see? What have you got here, Daddy? Why is your man asleep in your truck? He's not asleep. But I rescued him, baby. Well, he was lying in his car looking like he'd nothing better to do but die in the cold, so, you know, I thought I'd bring him back here. Where he can spend Christmas with us. He's spending Christmas with us. Well, he can't stay out in the cold any longer. But well, he's changing colour. Well, let's get him inside and warm him up. <laughs> Are you sure he isn't already dead? Of course. He'll wake up soon. Clean him up and he'll be fine. Go and run the bath, pumpkin. Keep an eye on him. Daddy, what if he doesn't like me? Well, then the pigs can have him. I won't be long. Hello? The van's broken down at one at back roads in Skipton. How long ago? About 20 minutes. Get on it, Morris. Daddy had to tell you out. You had a crash. But why did he bring me here? Zero signal around here. Yeah, it's a real dead spot. Do you reckon you can haul me out? I wish I could, but I've got to get into town. I'll give you a lift, though. Yeah, uh, that's fine. The company can worry about the van. How long was I out? It must have been a few hours. Come on, you have to drink. Yeah, it's OK. I can manage. Daddy said I had to look after you. I'm sure Daddy would understand. Can I have my shirt? I was about to wash it. It's fine as is. I need to get on the road as soon as possible. That's if my car still works. I don't know. You'll have to ask Daddy when he gets back. Of course. Daddy has all the answers. 
Who's Nicola? You spoke to Nicola. You said a name when I was giving you a bath. Oh. You gave me a bath. I thought maybe she was your wife. I'm not married. I must have hit something pretty sharp back there. My tire just blew. The next thing I know is I was heading for the trees and off the road. Didn't think about putting on the spare. I would have, but both of the front tires were blown. Uh -huh. Laura, have you seen my phone? I really need to make some calls. You won't get any signal out here. I figured. Can I use yours? I don't have one. I meant your landline. We don't have a landline. You don't have any kind of phone? No. What about internet? We don't have it. How does a teenager cope without Facebook or MySpace or whatever the hell it is you do these days? I'm not a teenager. So what do you do, Jake? I'm a lawyer. I guess you get to see lots of places. Yeah. I spend most of my life on the road. All starts to look the same after a while. I hardly get further than the town. Went to the city once and seen lots of different places on TV, though. You went to London? No, York. You've never been further than York? How come? We never had the opportunity. Never? Daddy says I'm not missing much. What about school? Daddy taught me. Really? It's not that unusual, is it? What about friends? I've got Daddy. Right. What? Nothing. Just it's quite a view. Jesus. Hey, champ. God, no. <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh? And what am I thinking? Daddy! Thank you, Jake. Yes. Thanks for keeping an eye on my daughter, Jake. Listen, uh, about before. Before? Yeah, when you saw me in there and I... Oh, forget about it. We're all red-blooded males, right, Jake? Well, I can't thank you enough for saving my life, Mr... Uh... Morris. Morris. Mr. Morris. Sorry, Mr. Morris. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Morris is fine. He's been a real gentleman. Has he? Why would she say that, Jake? Well, I, I think I've outstayed my welcome. I'll be getting out of your hair now. What, are you thinking about walking it? Well, it's ten miles to town, Jake. The storm's hitting hard and there's no hotels. Why well, are you sitting tight here with us tonight? Well, I guess I'll just drive slower this time. You won't be driving anywhere. Excuse me? Well, your car's not safe for the road. Sweetie, get the blankets for the couch. Oh, Morris, I couldn't possibly... Nonsense! It's not that I don't want to, it's just that I've got work commitments and I've got to be in the city by tonight. Son, who are you trying to impress? I'm really not trying to impress anyone. Come on, sit down, relax, eh? Keep warm. Besides, I couldn't just let you leave. I'm sorry. Listen, I really need to get going, storm or not. Calm down, son. Don't be so sensitive. It's just my sense of humor. You'll get used to it. Is Daddy telling bad jokes again? Get Jake a glass, sweetie. Okay. Well, the thing is, as her father, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if you've got kids, but I've got to look out for her. I need to know that you're keeping your hands to yourself. Yes, of course. Jesus, Morrison. Have we got any pork left over? I think so. I remember when I was 20. <laughs> I was setting the world on fire. Chin chin. Thank you. Where's Morris? 
Sleeping. Where's your mother, Lauren? She died. I'm sorry. It's okay, I was young. So it's just been the two of you here, all alone ever since? Yeah, just me and Daddy. I don't mean to be rude, but... I don't think that's healthy. Merry Christmas. Yeah, what's with that? We always celebrate Christmas a bit early. A bit? It's September. Well, Daddy doesn't want to be like everyone else. Yeah, I noticed. Sleep well. Yeah, where's my car? It's parked behind the shed. Marvellous. What are you doing? I've got a job to do. You're still recovering, though? I'm fine. Besides, the bad weather has passed. Well, you need to rest. I need to work. Here's 140. That should cover the cost of the tow. Here's my number in case it's more. Although, as you haven't got a phone, that's probably not much use. Fine, I'll leave it here. Make sure your dad gets it, okay? Thanks for everything. Can't you stay a little bit longer? As fun as this has been, and as sad as I am that it has to end, no. Where are the keys? Maybe they're in the house. For fuck's sake! This isn't happening. I've got a once-in-a-lifetime meeting and a bunch of papers that need to be signed. Today is not a good day to be caught in the middle of God knows where. Do you want me to make you some soup or something? Yeah, why don't you make me some soup? There's no need to be rude. I was only trying to help. Where the hell has he put my keys? Why are you so angry? You could have died out there. Die out there or spend the rest of my life in here. What's the difference? Hey, this is my home. And I'm very sorry for you. And it's Christmas today. It's not Christmas today. Not even close. It is for us. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. Thanks. And when's your dad back? I really need to find these keys. I don't know. A couple of hours, maybe. Can't you wait until then? Looks like I'll have to. Morris? Morris? What is it, Jerry? Little birdie tells me. You've been selling moonshine liquor. A little birdie. Wouldn't be any truth to that with the Morris. I may have shared a drink or two, but I certainly haven't been selling anything. I've been hearing otherwise. Who are you going to believe, Jerry? Me or a little birdie? Do I look like I'm joking, Morris? Perhaps I'm missing something here. If you're wanting a bottle, all you have to do is ask. We had three teenagers up in the hospital last week after drinking a batch of what I think was your liquor. Kids, eh? One of them was nearly blinded. I don't sell booze to kids, Jerry. Or anyone else. It's your road tax up to date, is it? Is there something I can help you with, Jerry? Have you really got nothing better to do than to bust my chops? Cut the bullshit, Morris. I know you're up to something. Just remember this. I got my eye on you. Well, bear that in mind. I mean it. Merry Christmas, Jerry. It's September, Morris. Dad, I'll be off now. 
Thanks for everything. Merry Christmas. Morris, hi. Hi, Jake. Great. You're still here. Yeah, I couldn't find my car keys. Well, they're in the car. No, I looked there. Huh. Well, don't worry. I'll turn up. And I can't find my phone either. Well, that I can help you with. Thanks. Look, I really need to get going. Can you give me a lift into town? I can come and pick up the car at some other point if that's all right. Sure, of course. No, I mean, can we go now? Oh. Well, the thing is, it's Christmas, and I can't leave Lauren on her own. Well, Christmas is a very important time for a young girl. Well, I understand. Well, I'll take gotta... you in a couple of hours. Well, let's not spoil Lauren's big night, eh? Relax, Jake. the teacher. Why don't you go up and dance, Jake? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Come on! I don't want to sound like a stuck record, but I really need to get going. Come on! Morris, maybe you could teach your daughter the meaning of the word no. Are you criticizing my parenting skills, Jake? Excuse me. It's Mr. Barfield. Nicola, will you marry me? <gasps> it's beautiful. What are you doing? I want you to give this to me at my birthday. Oh, Christ, you want me to propose in front of all your friends, don't you? Mm. I'll call you after. Don't worry, I'll be there. Promise. Cross my heart. So where are you now? I'm still in Yorkshire. I was going to take a shortcut across the moors. Where's Lauren? She's getting changed. Changed? It's a tradition we have. Well, since her mother died, once a year at Christmas, we like to pretend it's the three of us again. You're not going to get the Ouija board out, are you, Morris? Christmas is a time for family. Sure. So Lauren's gone to put on her mother's dress. I'm sorry, what? One night a year, Lauren pretends to be her mother, and we... Well, we feel like it's the three of us back together. Lauren pretends to be her mother? It's only a dress, Jake. There's no need to get your panties in a twist. Merry Christmas, Morris. Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Excuse me. What the hell was that? What? You were kissing your father. That's not normal behavior. Don't be gross, Jake. It was just a small kiss on behalf of my mother. You know what? This is insane. You two do whatever rocks your boat. I'm out of here tonight. Are you jealous? You're a sweet kid, Lauren. But you've got some serious problems. Who's got serious problems, Jake? No one. You're gonna be safe on the road there, Morris? Under my roof, you'll show some manners. You're at my fucking table now. Jesus, Morris. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Have you got ants in your pants, Jake? You can't stop fidgeting. Just keen to get back into town. You're really that keen on hitting the road? How was your food? It was great, thank you. Mm -hmm. You want a drink, Jake? Morris, I just want to go. Sure, 20 minutes. Another glass? It's 10 miles away. No, look, nothing. Daddy, you first. Truth or dare? Uh -huh. Dare, honey. OK. I dare you to down that glass of wine in one. Oh, come on, honey. We both know that's not much of a dare. Great, so we're playing games now? Morris, you can't drink and drive! Ah. Now, that sounds like a dare. You've nearly had the whole bottle. Jake, at what point did you think it was OK to come into my home and start lecturing me? Forget it. Jake's go. OK, Jake. Truth or dare? I'm not doing this. You sound like a little child, Jake. Fine, Morris. If it gets me into the truck any quicker, truth. Have you ever kissed another man? Daddy. No. Do you want me to? <laughs> Why are you so sensitive, Jake? Relax. We won't judge you. Imagine my relief. Now, can we go? I said 20 minutes. Are you fucking deaf? My turn, Daddy. Sweetie? Dad. I dare you to take your bra off and give it to Jake. Fine, you win. I'll just go and wait in the truck. Oh, relax. We're just having a laugh. Don't do that. Hey. Hey, how dare you? How dare you touch my daughter like that? How fucking dare you put your hands on my little girl like that? You bastard. You fucking bastard! I'll fucking kill you! You touch her again, you will shake me, kill me! Daddy, Jake's gone. Gone where? He's gone. And you were here.
caught him. Oh, God. Now, he'll be fine. He's lucky this thing is old. Oh. Otherwise, it would have taken his leg clean off. Sweetie, sure. What are you going to do about Jake? Oh, well, it's not my responsibility. I could take care of him. Well, he's a grown man, sweetie. I'm sure he can take care of himself. I get lonely, Daddy. You're always away. I've no idea where, and I'm left at home. Is it so wrong to want someone in my life? And you really think Jake's the one? You don't think I'm good enough for him? In a million years, he could never be good enough for you, Pumpkin. Besides, you're too young, you little monkey. <laughs> But not too young to be left on my own all day, every day. Where do you go, Daddy? It can't all be work. You know, it's fine if you've met someone, you're allowed to be happy, but can't I be happy too? Well, I don't have a girlfriend, if that's what you're thinking. And Jake? Well... Well, I can take him to the hospital in the morning, yeah? I guess it's for the best, right? Right. News, Jake. I'll be taking you to the hospital tomorrow. What? No, I need to go now. I think it's infected. Oh, I've got things to do. I'll take you first thing. Where are you going? Morris, wait! Ah! Wait, Morris! Ah! Morris! Wait! See you later, Jake! free tomorrow. Maybe you could tow it somewhere? Can I have your card? I don't have a card. That's a card. Just take your number. It's a nice watch you've got there. Gotta be careful with vans these days, Morris. Especially commercial ones. Start fitting trackers to them. I always check. Do you even know what a tracker looks like? I've got an next trail. How old? A couple of years. And you'd be two grand for it. Two grand. It's an next trail. If it's a good nick. You interested in the paint? I look like I'm running a decorating business. Everyone needs paint, Joe. Four tires and a steering wheel. That's all I need. 
Price for what you got there. I'll sell it if you're interested. Four tires, Morris. You sure? 60 pounds and it's yours. Stop hustling. How's Lauren? She's fine. But she's fighting the lads off now, isn't she? No. Keep me informed about the X trail. Have the cash ready. I'll bring it over in a couple of days. Come on, you have to rest now. No, I have to go to hospital now before I lose my leg. I can look after you. Oh, great. You're a doctor. Problem solved. No. You've got a license to practice medicine. Is that what this is, Lauren? No. Are you a member of any medical profession? Maybe you did a stint with St. John's Ambulance. Of course not. Then you're no fucking good to me, are you? Why are you swearing at me? Because I'm stuck in this godforsaken shithole with a mangled leg. Well, you wouldn't have if you hadn't have gone off by yourself. What did you expect me to do? Move in? No. We could at least have said goodbye. Are you crazy? After what happened last night, are you out of your mind? Last night? Last night was fun, though. Fun? Lauren, your father tried to kill me! It was a misunderstanding. I guess you're perfect when you've had too much to drink. Get a grip on reality. I don't turn into a homicidal maniac! Neither does he! Bullshit! <laughs> Do you ever wonder why your father was looking for me this morning with a shotgun? Just in case, I guess. In case of what? A fucking bear attack? That at least would explain why you've got traps in the woods. Do you get many bears around here, by the way? I don't know. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> no. And do you think that might be because bears haven't been here since the 10th fucking century? Why are you mad at me? Because I don't want to be here! I hate you! Here are your damn keys. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, I, I said I'm sorry. I'm gonna take you with me. This is Detective Jerry Simpson of the North Yorkshire Police. Unfortunately, none of the local hospitals are reporting any car crash victims that match Mr. Howell's description. I'm sorry there isn't better news. Please do give me a call if you want to discuss further. Jake. Warren, with or without you, I'm leaving. You need to decide right now. Take me with you. Oh, come, on. come on, let's get out of here. We can go when he's asleep, please. Just stay a little longer. Don't leave me here. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'll come back for you. Come on. We can take his truck tonight. Pork chop. Hi, Daddy. We were just getting some air. You found your keys, Jake. You're going to be leaving us then? In the morning. Oh, that's a shame. We're going to miss you. Come on, Jake, let's get you inside. We've had three patrols in this area. We should still keep focusing on this road. It's where he crashed. We don't know if he did. I do. Well, usually, when there's a crash, there's a car. And in this instance, we haven't found one. How can you be so sure it's this road specifically? Ready. Shh, where's Morris? He's sleeping. What 
about the keys to the truck. After everything I did for you, this is how you repay me. You tried to steal my truck and kidnap my daughter. What the hell's wrong with you, son? You got yourself to blame, Jake. Your parents must be so disappointed in you. Morris, no. No, 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 don't, Morris. Morris, no. Did you kill him? How could you say something like that to me? Did you? Of course not. What did I ever do to make you want to run away?
He's poisoned you against me. Don't you see? I promise you, Pumpkin. Everything's gonna be okay. What did you do to Jake? He's fine. Bring him back here. I was hoping for some news. Oh, you've had a van reported missing. Might be connected, might be nothing. And, uh, well, my shift's over now, so... So I guess I could uh, do some more house-to-house -house inquiries. I'll join you.
Morning, Jake. Take these fucking chains off me! Where's Lauren? I don't see how that's your concern. Did you kill her? Is that what you would do? Where is she? You've got a real attitude problem, Jake. You know that. So I guess I'm going to be your guest a little while longer. Anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. How's the leg, by the way? Let me know if you need any more painkillers. I found these in your pocket. You've well and truly crossed the line this time, Morris. You can't cover this one up. Are you listening to me? You can't put this down as an accident or self-defense. You've tortured a person. That's actual bodily harm. Premeditated, I might add. And you've kept me here against my will. That's forcible confinement. And I can see you take my watch, and that's theft. You're some sort of lawyer, aren't you, Jay? And God knows what you've got down there, but I'm willing to bet it ain't legal. Oops. So tell me, Jake, what's your point? It means you're going to go to jail for a long time. OK, so what's going to happen to Lauren? I'll tell you. Inside a month, she'll be peddling her ass to greasy old fucks who get their kicks from young girls. What sort of guys like you, eh? Morris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh, right? But that doesn't matter to you, does it? No, because you're in your own little fucked up Morris world. And middle of nowhere, amongst the trees. Well, guess what? Sooner or later, they are going to find you. And when they do, they're going to lock you up and throw away the key. Maybe. But let me ask you something. Did you tell anyone you were coming here? Hmm? Did you tell a single person you'd be driving down that road? The one that I found you on when I saved your miserable, worthless life. I don't think so, Jake. And you know what that means, don't you? It means no one's looking for you here. So maybe you're right. Maybe one day this will all catch up with me. But not today. And not in time to save you. Well, Lauren, she won't let you kill me. She likes me. And as much as that pisses you off, she has feelings for me. And she's not just going to stand by and let this happen. Oh, I'm terrified. What do you think my daughter's going to say to me, Jake? She's going to tell me off. Sulk. Hold her breath until she gets her way. She'll do as I tell her, and that's a fact. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I realize I've been ungrateful and rude, and I've shown you no respect in your own home when all you've been is a gracious host. And I can see that Lauren is young and impressionable, and I've been a negative influence on her. And for all of that, I am sorry. Okay. I get it, all right? If it was the other way around, I'd do the same, maybe even worse. You're just a concerned father looking out for his daughter, am I right? Uh-huh. And I've come into your home, and without any consideration, I've disturbed the peace you have here. Maybe, maybe I took things too far. Right. Right. Well, I realize I made a mistake. I appreciate that. You're a bigger man than I took you for, Jake. I'm truly sorry for my actions. All right. Did you forgive me? Of course. And I hope that you can forgive me if at times that I took it too far. It's all water under the bridge. So will you let me go? No. What? <sighs> go fuck yourself, Jake. Where are you going? Out. You're not leaving me here like this, you fuck! I'm finished. I'm not fucking finished with you! This isn't over! I'm gonna destroy you! I'm gonna do whatever it takes! I will move heaven and earth to get out of this shithole you call a home! And when I do, I'm gonna take everything that's of any importance to you and rip it from your life! I'm gonna burn this fucking hovel down and piss on the ashes! And most importantly, if it's the last thing I ever do, I'm gonna make sure that Lauren despises you! You're nothing! You're worthless! You're pathetic! You have to hide out here in the middle of nowhere! Because all you are! 
is a sick fuck! I am going to destroy you! Do you fucking hear me? How do you do, did Jerry? Morris. Your head's bleeding. I slipped. <laughs> oh, sure. What do you want, Jerry? Well, we think we had a car crash in the area a few days ago. Well, we can't find it. Or the driver. Any ideas? Aliens. Seriously, Morris? Or well, maybe not this time of year, eh? Well, my guess is somebody towed it away. You wouldn't have to know anything about that. No, we're kind of cut off up here. Well, it's not exactly the local watering hole, is it? Right. I'll leave you to it, then. You slip on your knuckles, too, then, did you? Who's your friend? None of your business. There's something wrong, Jerry. Care yeah, to explain, Morris? Cans of paint, Jerry. Didn't they teach you that in detective school? You still have the receipts, of course. Of course. Mind if I see them? It looks like you're off duty, Jerry. Are you sure you came here to say hi or just to, or just to bust my ball some more? Cut the shit, Morris. No problem. I'll be right back. Jake. Jake. That's Jake's car. What? It's his car. You sure? Yes. Get in the car. Get in the car! Something I can help you with, officer. Hmm? Are you still keeping an eye on me, Jerry? Dad. 
Jesus. Who is he? I don't know. We can take his car. There's no keys. Check his pockets. Come on, old friend. He's gonna kill me. I won't let him. He's not gonna take a vote on it. It's gonna be fine, Jake. He's just killed a man. It must have been self-defense. Look at me. Does this look like self-defense? He won't do it again. And who's he got in that basement? Basement. The basement in the shed. The shed's daddy's space. He doesn't like me going in there. You need to find out who's got in there. It's too risky if he finds out. Once we're gone, he'll destroy all the evidence. Well, let him. At least we'll be free and he can stay here where he belongs. He belongs in prison. Can't do it. You've got to. Daddy, how's the arm? Barely a scratch. I'll be fine. It's been a crazy couple of days, eh? What happened this morning? Nothing for you to worry about, sweetie. We're not in trouble, are we? In trouble? Why would we be in trouble? I don't know. Just things have never been like this before. Well, you haven't done anything, have you? No. Then there's nothing to worry about, is there, sweetie? OK. Daddy, what's going to happen to Jake? I'll take him to the hospital in the morning. For real this time? Of course. Really? Well, what else would I do? Yeah, no, of course. I know things have been tough lately. I realise now why you've been protecting me. People can't be trusted. Once Jake goes, things will be back to normal. It'll all be okay. Sometimes I forget how grown up you are. <laughs> You're just like your mother. Don't let her get cold, sweetie. Need to live, Jake. Well, the polite thing to do would be to say thank you. How's your leg? Is this pork again, Daddy? Sure, sweetie. What's wrong? 
You don't like pork now? No, it's fine. Well, I can make you something else if you prefer. How did Lauren's mother die? Not at the dinner table, please, Jake. You killed her too, didn't you? I'm guessing... I'm guessing she tried to take Lauren away from you and this shithole you call a harm. Jake. But being the fucking nutcase that you are, <laughs> you weren't too happy about it. She tried to escape, didn't she? And that's why you killed her. killed her, you fucking psychopath. Your parents still alive, Jack? Maybe I could pay them a visit. It was cancer. That's right, sweetie. That's right, sweetie, it was cancer. What happened to the body, Morris? Did the authorities come and take her away? Hmm? Where's the death certificate? She was cremated. I'm sure it was a beautiful ceremony. Do you remember the funeral, Lauren? Excuse me, I'm going to get some air. Eat your food, Jake. Eat to live, right? to the hospital tomorrow. Lauren tell you that. No rush. I think we're past the point of saving the leg. Maybe I'll stay here for another day or two. Seeing the new year with you guys. Hmm? I know you were humouring her. I forgot. We can't get anything past you, can we? You're too smart. Wanting to have a chat with you. Man to man. Now, as a father, the most important thing to me is my daughter's welfare and happiness. So when a man comes along and, and tries to take her away from me, exploit her innocence. Morris, I have no intentions of your daughter. When are you gonna get that in your thick fucking... Sorry to interrupt you there. That's not my point. That's not what upsets me the most. What it is, if you like, besides seeing you emotionally manipulate my daughter, is for you to come into my house and blatantly lie. You see, it's the disrespect that I'm having a tough time with. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> you led my daughter to believe that you were available that you were single, that you didn't have a girlfriend, Jake, that you didn't have a fiance. What did you say?
Didn't get a chance to talk to him, did you? Didn't get a chance to find out who he is. He didn't get a chance to spill the beans before I spilt his guts. <laughs> you see, that was Jerry, our local constabulary. He, he came here looking for you. So I guess that's me eating my words. Somehow, someone did know that you were here. But he didn't come on his own. Who did he come with? I hope I didn't get you into trouble, but I told her about you and Lauren. Who is he with? I tried to explain it to her. But it almost broke my heart. What have you done to her, you son of a bitch? <sighs> Sweet girl. No, wait. I'd say tender is a better description. Maybe even succulent. What have you done to her? Tell me, Jake. How did she taste to you? No! Here. I don't think it'll fit her anymore. What did you do? What did you do? You're too young to understand. This is my mother. Isn't it? How could you do that? It was the only way to protect you. She was going to take you away. You don't know what kind of world it is out there. Jake was right about you, about everything. Don't say that, sweetie. I don't know you. I don't know the person that could do this. You need to calm down. You're a monster. That's not true. She can't move. She can't speak. Sweetie, I'm begging you to calm down. Turn the life into a nightmare. Don't make me do this. What? What are you going to do? Look, I'm not playing around here. Are you going to cut off my arms and legs so I can't run away? No, I'm warning you. I'm going to cut off my tongue so I can't tell you. I hate you! the last thing I'd do, I'd make sure that she hates you. She knows what you are now.
what did you see? It's not over yet. I did my best to raise her. To keep her happy and protected. But sooner or later, this was always going to happen. I'm sorry I let you down. I'm not giving him the satisfaction of thinking he's finished me. It's not over yet. Oh. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here.
Okay. 